most of all of my life, since I've been, uh, I don't know, blessed or cursed, <laughs> whichever way you want to look at it, being named Jesse Palmer Jr., I had a lot to, to live up to over, over my whole life, and I've been spending my whole life trying to. It started back with my grandfather. He was one of the most honest, hardest working men I'd ever known, and I just idolized him. And then it passed on to my teachers as well. They took a special, seemed like a special interest in me, and as a result, I spent all the time that I spent doing whatever I do is as a payback to them for what they did for me. Mr. Palmer, doing my education, he ended up, he's taken charge. He was warned, if he could help you, he would help you. Mr. Palmer was the kind of instructor that I wish every child could have. He enhanced learning, and even if you made a mistake, you didn't feel put down. He would just do corrective things, or he would have a student that had advanced learning to help that person, and they both improved because that's how you do it. When you help somebody, you increase your learning, and they increase theirs. Well, one thing he's meant to, to all of us is he put in all of us a desire to, to teach. You know, we didn't become teachers, but five or seven of us are ministers, so we, we teach, but we teach something different. <laughs> but then at the same time, we teach something that's the same because you, you teach people principles, you teach them uh, life lessons, how to live, uh, and so in just growing up, you know, with all my brothers and sisters, we learned that you want to always be a student. People had a great respect for him, and they knew if someone was willing to work, then he would step out and take a chance on you. So Palmer ended up there. He called the coach up at Mississippi Industrial College, where he had attended, and he had respect with that coach, so that that coach went on his word, and he gave me a full-time scholarship. When you respect yourself and others, there are no, you, you didn't have any limits as to how far you would go. I learned to always, you know, treat people with respect, and that, that was one of the biggest things that I, I learned from my father, because he did it to people and so I learned how to do it by watching him. Palmer was a leader. He stepped out and done the things that he felt was right for the community. Well, my first experience was with the civil service. I re uh, replaced my former principal, Mr. W.A. Reed, and from that uh, was 1987, and I served from 87 to 89. Then they asked me to run for city council in 1989, and of course I was elected council six times and served as president four times and vice, of course, four times. You know, when you do what you can do and you're responsible and you let them know that you are really for the community and not for yourself, people respect you for that, and he has that kind of attitude. When you are an honorable person, people honor you. Um, I know uh, uh, one wise man once said that if you cast your bread out on the waters, at some point in time, it's gonna come back to you. So when you give to others, it's gonna come back to you at some point in time. And he's been giving to others for as long as I can remember. And as I talked to older people, he was giving before I, before I was even here. And so those things, all they just all come back over time. I want to thank him for being the kind of teacher that influenced my life and had a help in making me the person I am, along with all the rest of the teachers, because that's the attitude that they exhibited. And the other thing is, I want to thank him for being my friend still today. I just say uh, I have been one of the most blessed people in the world uh, to have had all the experiences that I've had and the people I've been able to associate with, they have been great. We are friends and friends forever, so it's the people of Meridian that I'm most proud of. You know, I've been proud all my life to, to be named Jesse Palmer. 
Uh, the pressure is so great, I moved out of town one time. I couldn't live up to it, <laughs> but I came back. <laughs> and hopefully, uh, I'll be able to, uh, at the end of my life, or as I get older, the next 30 years, I can live up to the example that was set for me.